Thank you, Chase. We're getting a closer look at some new laws going into effect on September 1st that will impact the oil and gas industry that's in tonight's Powering the Permian. House Bill 33, also known as the Texas Energy Independence Act, is one of those bills. It blocks state officials or companies from working with the federal government on any oil and gas regulations. We talked to the bill's author who says this is a win for West Texans. The Texas Energy Independence Act means uh, a, a great deal for West Texas because it, it says that anytime there's federal overreach where uh, the federal government is trying to curtail oil and gas production, something that we do very well here in the Permian Basin, the state of Texas is not going to use any of its resources to basically be an accomplice uh, to those efforts. So it allows the Permian Basin to continue to do what it does very well, very safely, very efficiently without any unnecessary federal overreach. That's not the only one of Landgraf's bills that will go into effect Friday. There's also the Energy Choice Act, which bans local governments from banning or limiting access to gas, diesel, or any other fuel source. We asked him, should West Texans be worried? Senate Bill 1017, all it does is ensure that freedom to choose what type of engine they want. So if anybody wants to drive EVs, they can. If you want to drive a gasoline-powered uh, vehicle, you can. Some cities have started to say that you can't have gasoline-powered vehicles. Uh, and this bill, we're going to have one rule when it comes to that. Consumers what they drive. Be sure to watch us tonight at 10 o'clock in our Powering the Permian report. We're asking Representative Landgraf where he thinks the oil and gas industry is headed. That's tonight on ABC Big 2 News at 10. In the meantime, let's take a look at oil prices in our area tonight. The price for a barrel of crude is up, now sitting at $81.59. According to Bloomberg, that's up more than 40 cents from just this morning. In tonight's Baker Hughes rig count, there are 632 rigs up and running across the U.S. 307 of those in Texas and 320 in the Permian Basin, which does include parts of New Mexico, by the way. According to Baker Hughes, this count is down 17% overall from this time last year. Meanwhile, gas prices are on the way up across West Texas. Right now, the average for a gallon of gas is sitting just around $3.40. You can read all about the stories for the industry that keeps West Texas running right now on yourbasin.com. All you have to do is click on that Powering the Permian tab.